Hello friends, I'm Raymond Mayfield, and it's so good to come to the, you on this program today, and I'm going to be talking about Revelations chapter 1 today. One of the most interesting books in the entire Bible is the book of Revelation. The book titles itself The Revelation of Jesus Christ in Revelations 1 and 1. It is believed to have been written by the Apostle John sometime around 70 A.D. We don't know exactly for sure. John had been exiled to Patmos because he had been a testimony for the Lord. And Patmos is a small, rugged, and bare island in the Aegean Sea and lies about 20 miles south of Samos and 24, 24 miles west of Asia Minor. Because of the desolate and barren nature, Patmos was used by the Romans as a place to banish criminals, and they were forced to work at hard labor in the mines and the quarries on the island. Because Christians were regarded as criminals, tradition says John was exiled there for about 18 months, and that's a New King, uh, New King James Version study Bible that I just quoted that from. God gave this revelation to show to his servants of the things that will come to pass in the future. The message was communicated to John by angels, and I'm thankful to God that the angel of God gave him this message. And verse 3 says, Blessed is he who reads and hears the words of the prophecy and keeps those things that are written it, for the time is at hand in the King James Version. If you want to be blessed, read the book of Revelation. Keep the words of the prophecy that are written in it and obey God. And then John sends a greeting to the seven churches which are in Asia Minor. Uh, it also says in verse number four, Grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come. Oh, I'm glad that that speaks well of Jesus who is and who was and who is to come. And from the seven spirits, that's simply, don't let that confuse you, that's just simply the Holy Spirit, and seven is God's number, who are before his throne. And verse 5, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, and the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loved us. Aren't you glad he loved us, and washed us in our sins by his own blood? It was his blood that he shed on Calvary for all of us that's made us alive today. Verse 6 says he has made us kings and priests to his God and his Father. Isn't that great, great to know we are kings and priests unto God? To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. We can't praise him enough. Verse 7 says, Behold, he is coming in the clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they who have pierced him in the tribes of the earth shall mourn. He is Alpha and Omega, the first part of the alphabet and the last part of the alphabet, the beginning and the end, who is and who was and is to come, the Almighty. And every eye is going to see him. That's describing the second advent or after the uh, tribulation period and after Armageddon. And he comes back to uh, with his, uh, the saints of God with him to defeat everyone, and every eye is going to see him, and they're not going to be glad to see him on that particular time. And then there's a vision of the Son of Man. John had this vision. Verse 10 tells us that John was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a great voice like a calling of a war trumpet. And John was instructed to send this message that he was hearing from the Lord in this vision to the seven churches in Asia Minor. Today that is in southwest Turkey. In verse 12, John saw seven golden lampstands, and those represent the seven churches. In verse 13, and in the midst of the lampstands, one like the Son of Man, clothed with a robe which reached to his feet and with a girdle of gold about his breast. And it goes on to describe what this Son of Man looked like in verse 14. And his head and his hair were white and like white wool, as white as snow, and his eyes flashed like a flame of fire. His feet glowed like burnished bright bronze. 
as it has been refined in a furnace, and his voice was the sound of many waters, in verse number 15. In his right hand he held the heaven st- uh, the, in his right hand he held seven stars, and from his mouth came forth a sharp two-edged sword, and his face was like the sun shining with power at midday. And the stars are his ministers that are in the midst of those lampstands that are his ministers that preach the word of God. We are instructed by God to preach the word of God and to only preach the word of God. Today, many preachers are not preaching the word of God. We need to hear and preach what the word of God says. In verse number 18, and there was, and there was ever a living one, I am the living in the eternity of eternities, uh, and I died, but see, I'm alive forevermore. And he goes on to say in different places in the Bible, he holds the keys to death, hell, and the grave. I've covered the book of Revelation chapter 1. You might want to read it for yourself entirely. It's a great chapter in the beginning of the things that are going to come to pass in the future. And I am glad today that we can study God's Word. It's the greatest book we have. This is Raymond Mayfield, and I'll talk to you again real soon.